Welcome class 5 students. Today in this video we will solve some objective sums from your first unit test syllabus. So please follow today's class carefully. The first sum that we will do today is uh, suppose you are given that um, 5 8 part of one day is how many hours? First sum for today is 5 8 part of one day. Is equal to how many hours so we know that one day is equal to 24 hours so 5 8 into one day you have to do one day we all know is 24 hours so 5 by 8 into 24 that is 3 you will get 15 hours so answer will be 15 hours answer will be 15 hours. In this way you will solve the sums, objective sums. Let's move to another objective sum that is given. Uh, suppose you are given 28 by 32 is equal to 28 by 32 is equal to 7 by how much? So how will you do this? You will do uh, the question mark part you will consider as x. So 28 by 32 is equal to 7 by x or x you will bring upward and cross multiply x into 28 is equal to 32 into 7 or x equals to 32 into 7 by 28. So this 4, 4 eights. Answer will be x equals to 8. That means the missing number over here is 8. This one is 8. Uh, next sum. I'm rubbing the board to solve the next sum. I hope you all have copied. Sum number 3 given that 4 fifth of a sack of a rice is spent. What part is left? Third sum. 4 fifth of a sack of rice sack of rice is spent. How much part is left? How much part is left. So what you will do? We always consider the whole as one. The whole part as one. So four fifth part is spent. So one minus four by five. You have to subtract this and find the answer. One by five. So one fifth of the sack of the sack of rice is left. One fifth of the sack of rice is left. Uh, this is the solution. Next, I'm rubbing the board and solving the next sum. All these sums are objectives. Next sum, a train travel, a train can travel 32 kilometer in one hour. 32 kilometer in one hour. A train travel, a train can travel. So how long will it travel? What time it will travel, take to, uh, what time now? Uh, how much it will, how long will it travel? What distance will it travel? What distance? You have to find the distance that the train will travel in 8 hours. If time is given 8 hours, then how long will it travel? It has been given, the speed of the train is given 32 km in 1 hour. So you have to find the distance travelled by the train in 8 hours. So 1 hour 32 km, 8 
8 hours how long? So in 1 hour it travels 32 kilometer in 8 hours it travels 32 into 8 256 kilometer this is uh, the solution and these are the objective sums uh, I'm rubbing the board and solving the next sum for you So next sum is given between half and two third which one is greater between half two numbers are given half and two third you have to find which is greater so first you will try to equate the denominators since the denominators are not same they are different first your job will be to equalize the denominator both the denominators of the fractions given so half and two third first you will write. Then what you will do? You will try to equate both the equalize both the denominators. So two into three is six. You will do the LCM of two and three, which is six. So you will make six. Two into three gives you six. Again three into two gives you six. So in this way denominators are equalized. Now, what you will do is, you will multiply the denominator with the same factor. So, numerator is 1. With the same factor with which we are multiplying the denominator, that factor you have to use to multiply the numerator also. In case of the second fraction also, you have to multiply the numerator with the same factor which you have multiplied in the denominator. So, 2 into 2. So, ultimately, you are getting 3 by 6 and here you are getting 4 by 6. Now the comparison you can make since denominators are equal and that's why I have told you in the beginning of the sum to equalize the denominator. By equalize, by different denominator you can't judge which one is greater. But by equalizing the denominator you can easily judge which one is the greater. Now you can easily judge which one is the greater. 4 by 6 is the greater number. So you can write among these two fractions 2 third or 2 by 3 is the greater 1. In this way you will solve the objectives given to you. I hope you have understood the sums. In my next video I will come up with some more objectives. Till then, goodbye.